Welcome everybody to some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So I decided to put down the AX-50 and try a different sniper. I had gotten the hang of that sniper, but one thing I wanted was a sniper that shot faster because the AX-50, while it scopes in the fastest out of the bolt action rifles, except for the marksman rifles, but out of the sniper rifles that are bolt action, it scopes in the fastest. But I wanted a sniper that can shoot faster because the bolt speed is still really slow on that weapon. And so I decided to pick up the Dragunov and this thing is actually really good. In previous games, the Dragunov would always be a really terrible sniper, but this one actually gets one-shots at pretty nice areas of the body. I say that as I get a hit marker on someone. But yeah, if you guys are having issues with fire rates on your snipers, I definitely recommend giving the Dragunov a chance. It does suck at the beginning without attachments, but that's the case with pretty much every sniper or any weapon in this game, except like maybe the 725. But yeah, the Dragunov, really good sniper, definitely not expected. And uh, I ended up hitting my best clip yet on this game yesterday with the Dragunov. I decided to hop on for like an hour or so, play some ground war, and I ended up hitting a 5 multi with that sniper. I'm going to run it up across the screen right now for you guys. No, I mean, it's good to be prepared, I guess. I prepare for the wrong. Oh my god. Oh my fucking... Oh my god. What the fuck did I just do? Oh my god. That was really unexpected because I barely had any attachments for the weapon as well, and so it was really terrible and just not fun to use whatsoever. I was kind of freaking out a little bit as well. I would have preferred if it wasn't split, but I was playing Ground Wars, so I couldn't really complain all that much. But either way, it was a 5 multi, which I'm happy about. I haven't been hitting a lot of clips on this game. One, because I haven't been playing as much as I would like to. And also, this game is just hard. I just suck. I find it really difficult to hit clips i mean i try my best but i've probably hit like maybe five clips in total on this game they're not even all that good they're probably just like quad feeds and split quad feeds and such really i'm not stressing too hard about clips anyway i'm just trying to have fun with the game because that is something that I find to be an issue. I don't find this game to be super fun all the time. Honestly, the game is in a horrible state and I've already made so many videos about it, but like I keep playing it because I do like the game. I like the foundation of the game, but I can't lie that at times it gets really fucking boring. The map variety isn't that much. There's not that many maps in this game to the point where I find myself playing other game modes a lot. I find myself playing a lot more game modes than I do in other Call of Duties. In previous Call of Duties, I play like maybe TDM, Domination, but in this game, I'm hopping into Hardpoint, Headquarters, TDM, Domination, Ground War, fucking everything. I just need a lot of variety in this game because there isn't a whole lot of it when it comes to maps. And so playing a bunch of game modes will give you the most variety with maps. Speaking of maps, there was a leak recently of the supposed battle royale map that's going to be coming to this game and i'm not sure if it's going to be coming to the game or if it's going to be its own standalone thing maybe a free-to-play battle royale that would be really cool but supposedly battle royale is coming to this game and honestly i'm excited because right now i don't have a lot of things to do on this game i mean i go for challenges and stuff and i go for clips and such however i completed the campaign the spec ops is absolute garbage so that only leaves me with multiplayer and i just wish i had a little bit of variety i wish that this game actually had a battle royale so that I could hop into that whenever I get bored. But unfortunately, that's just not the case at the moment, so we're just gonna have to wait. There's no official confirmation. These are just leaks. Holy fucking shit, dude. I just spawned like three times and died. Are they addressing the spawns on this game? Because at first, I felt like the spawns weren't that bad, but I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, the spawns on this game just became fucking horrible. Honestly, I would just love if a battle royale came out to this game because I just need more stuff to do. Earlier in this video, I mentioned how this game isn't really that fun at the moment. And the main reason for that, in my opinion, is just the lobbies. Jesus Christ, this game is so sweaty. But I am trying to remind myself that we're only like two or three weeks into this game's life cycle. So the lobbies aren't going to become casual anytime soon, at least until Christmas comes around. That's when we'll get the Christmas noobs. And I know I touched on this in previous videos, but let's talk about skill-based matchmaking. I'm not saying that there is skill-based matchmaking in this game. We don't have any solid evidence to suggest that there is. 
However, I can't lie. It does feel like there's skill-based matchmaking in this game. I mean, my KD is like 1.07 or some shit. Of course, I do need to take into account that I am a sniper, and sniping in this game is a lot more difficult than previous games. But I mean, holy shit, it is so rare for me to come into a good lobby in this game. I mean, everybody is using the most overpowered setups. Everyone's using the M4, the 725. I find myself lobby surfing so much on this game. I mean, I, I believe my win-loss is literally like, 0.47 and i'm not bringing up these stats because i give a shit about my stats but i'm just bringing them up to show that this game is hard man i mean i am just trying so hard out here to get good lobbies i mean i've been in this lobby for maybe a minute or two now and i have two kills that could be alternate reasons but i also find that everybody is just trying so hard to kill me as i said i'm not even focused on kills or kill streaks in this game i'm literally just trying to have fun and by doing that i'm playing ground war mainly well that's a lie I actually don't play ground war the majority of the time but i find that ground war is the most fun game mode there is just so much action there's a bunch of chaos you can pick where you spawn i mean it's really good i'm starting to play it more and more as time goes on because there's just a lot more clip opportunities yeah you do get split a shit ton but i mean there's just more people to kill a lot more fun to be had as time goes on i start to dislike these maps more and more not that i think they're all bad i do think maybe about half of the maps in the game are pretty decent but i I definitely don't think there's any map in this game that I'm like super stoked to play. You guys might actually be surprised, but my favorite map on this game is actually Piccadilly, which is shocking because everybody hates that map everyone is saying that it's literally like one of the worst maps in call of duty history and it's the worst map in this game according to the community but i don't know man as a sniper i like the way the map plays i'm not gonna say it's a perfect map it's definitely not like an iconic map or anything like that but it's my personal favorite in this game which i find so strange it's crazy how everyone can have such differing opinions i see everybody shitting on piccadilly i'm like guys i like the map personally okay Oh, and another tip for this game. I know a lot of people don't like the pistols because they think that they're really weak and stuff. But I'm telling you, once you unlock the buckshot rounds on the 357, this gun is insane. It's like a one-hit kill from short to medium range. You need to try it. Actually, I'm going to show you. I'm going to run around this next game with the 357 with the current class that I have. And this gun is just busted. As a sniper, I am so happy that I pretty much have a pocket shotgun. Because I don't want to be one of those people who uses overkill and uses the 725. I don't want to have to subject myself to such filth. But this thing right here, these are the attachments I use. I'm not saying that these are the best attachments or anything. But the main thing is that you have, sorry, not buckshot, but snake shot. These things are busted. I mean, they turn this weapon into a kind of all right to decent weapon into just like honestly it's it's the best pistol in the game some people might argue the desert eagle but i'm just gonna say it the revolver with the snake shot attachment is just amazing it has six shots in a magazine so you pull this thing out and you can one shot people at close range if you're indoors you just go pop 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 you're just popping heads off man i'm gonna pop off with this thing in this game i'm gonna show you how busted it is look at this thing this thing is so underrated nobody uses this weapon i don't understand why nobody uses this thing it's probably because it's outshined by the 725 a lot of people just run that as their secondary but oh my god in terms of pistols if you don't want to run overkill use this thing because it is amazing such an underrated weapon definitely recommend it oh my god I have literally only used this weapon this game, and I have 14 kills right now. I'm on a 7 kill streak with a pistol. In this game, that's unheard of. If that doesn't convince you that this thing is actually kind of OP, then I don't know how to convince you. And this isn't even on a good map. This is on Azir Cave. Oh my god. I mean, this is just embarrassing. All right, I'm going to stop using overpowered pistols, and I'm actually going to snipe for a little bit. One last time, use the 357. This thing is uh, really good. But yeah, I'm going to quit rambling. I'm going to end this video off here. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you smack the like button. If you want to stay up to date on my content, please be sure to subscribe. I'll have my last video in the corner. If you haven't checked that out already, definitely make sure to check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out.